Hi there, my name is Vic Veer. I'm an ENT surgeon who's the head of the sleep surgery department at the Royal National ENT Hospital in Central London. What I want to do is tell you about a new snoring device called Zeus. And if you watch to the end of this video, I'll tell you how to get a discount when you go ahead and buy this device. And also a way to get this device for free because I'm giving one away to one of my subscribers. Anyway, let's find out what this Zeus device actually is. So Zeus is the device which sits underneath your chin like this at night. And what it does is it provides electrical signal that goes to your tongue muscles and stops your tongue muscles from falling back and blocking off your breathing at night. Now some of the subscribers on my channel will know about the hypoglossal nerve stimulator implants and these are like the Inspire device or the Genio device. The Inspire device is a bit like a pacemaker, it sits here and stimulates the nerve, the hypoglossal nerve, to bring your tongue forward at night. Another one is the Genio device which is like a chip that sits underneath your chin here and stimulates the nerves as they go into the tongue. Both of these things have to be implanted, that's why they're called implants. Whereas this new device, although it works on the same principle, it isn't implanted in. It works through the skin, so nothing actually gets uh, surgically put in. This is something you can buy and use at home without needing to see someone like me. So just like the Genio and the Inspire device, what it does is that it, it transfers electrical signal to the tongue, that tongue contracts when you're sleeping at night and brings the tongue forward. By bringing the tongue forward, you don't end up blocking your breathing at night and therefore you can sleep without getting uh, snoring or sleep apnea problems. So let's see how to use it now. So here is the Zeus device and you can see that there's a central area here where the battery is stored. Then there are two paddles or wings here and here and they have exposed electrodes which can deliver the electricity. To turn on the Zeus device, you need to press on these two buttons here for a few seconds. And from the same two buttons, you can control how much electricity is delivered by pressing the right or the left button. To charge the battery, you need to drop it into this charger and use a normal standard USB cable. A full charge lasts about eight hours, which should be enough time for you to sleep. To attach it to your skin, you need to use this double-sided sticky plastic. Firstly, line up the see-through circles with the electrodes underneath and then peel off the other side of the sticker so you can stick it onto your neck. Now the main thing about the Zeus device is that you need to position this very, very carefully. You need to put these two electrodes right on your tongue muscles if you can. Now the way I think is best to find where your tongue muscles are is to close your mouth and press your tongue against your front teeth like this. <laughs> you can't see that, it's inside my mouth. But you press your tongue against your front teeth and try and push them out the way. That will contract the tongue muscles and bring the tongue muscles forward. What you then feel is inside your neck, and you do it again, and you can feel that the, the muscles contracting. And that's the area you want these paddles here, these electrodes, to sit on. So you want them to go right there. Now, obviously, this won't work for me because I have a beard and it's not going to get through those hairs and it's not going to give me proper stimulation, so I can't really use it. It also doesn't work for people who use an awful lot of moisturiser at night. It just sort of slips off and doesn't work very well. I guess there's an opportunity of using the Knightsbridge chin strap or something like this to keep it in place. And maybe even if you are using a lot of moisturiser at night, it might stick in that place. But it's, I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. I haven't tried it. So once it's sticking in place, in the right place like this, the next thing you have to do is just push left and right to get the right amount of stimulation for your tongue. Not too much that it wakes you up, but not too little so it doesn't do anything. So you can sort of titrate or calibrate it to your own needs. So the next bit of the video is to seeing if this thing actually works. I've been listening to Professor Jörg Steyr talk about this sort of transcutaneous stimulation of the tongue for years now. So this isn't a device where someone has just cobbled something together and thought it up on the back of an envelope. This is years and years of dedicated research going on, gone into this thing. And this is the first commercial incarnation of this uh, whole range of things I think um, Professor Jörg Steyr is going to put together. Jörg Steyr works in central London on the opposite end of the river from me. And he's teamed up with a company in Hampshire, which is south of England, uh, where I grew up actually. And they've made this device and I'm hoping that it will do really well in the future. So the first clinical paper written about this by Jörg Stein and other people was back in 2016 where they got 36 people together. And they got them to use this device in a crossover sham controlled randomized controlled trial, which is as pretty much as good as you can get when it comes to randomized controlled trials. So a long story short, it worked better on people with milder disease and not so well on people with very severe disease. There were a subset of population which worked really well and some people it didn't work at all, which makes sense because Jörg Steyr didn't pick out the people who he thought it would work best on. He didn't do a drug-induced sleep endoscopy on anyone. He had any takers just come in, we'll give it a go. So approximately just under 50% of people 
did well with this device. What I'll do is I'll stick up the uh, AHI and ODI figures up here. And you can see they're not looking too bad at all. But when you look at the whole population of the study, the, the results don't look so good because you have to pick out the responders from the non-responders. And personally, this makes sense to me because if you remember all the hypoglossal nerve stimulator trials before the STAR trial, which showed that it really helped, all those trials didn't work. They all had bad outcomes until they started using drug-induced sleep endoscopy to pick out those people who had a tongue base collapse. It doesn't work on people with a lateral wall collapse or a tonsil problem. You need to find out where the problem is in people before you can start giving them treatment. So it's quite brave of Jörg Steyr to just give it out to everyone. Now I understand that Jörg Steyr is going to do another trial on this device at the end of this year, but currently this use device is only used for people with snoring problems because it isn't licensed for obstructive sleep apnea. But I think later on, maybe it will become that way. I think it needs to go through some regulatory processes and things like that first. Now, some of you may know Kath from the Hope to Sleep charity based here in England. And she, with her followers, have put together a trial into using the Zeus device on people with snoring. So they just picked out snorers. Now, very kindly, they gave me the data so I could share it with you today. And you can see that, uh, I'll, I'll sort of put little signs up here for you. You can see it seemed to work on quite a lot of people. Out of the 15 snorers it was tried on, 82% of people felt that it reduced their snoring episodes. And 64% of people said they would carry on using it long term. Now, there are some other stats I'll put up here for you from the Hope to Sleep charity. But what I'd really like to see is this used on people where who have a tongue-based problem. People who've had a drug-induced sleep endoscopy know that they have a tongue-based problem and therefore can use it and it should work on those people. But hopefully I'll have that data at the end of this year when Jörg Steyr does his trial. Now, I guess some of you will be wondering, look, this is a commercial device. I have no access to drug-induced sleep endoscopy. Is it going to work for me or not? Now, it's quite hard to say because it only works, I think, on people with a tongue-based problem or something similar to that. Now, uh, without going ahead and doing a drug-induced sleep endoscopy, uh, there are ways of working out if your main problem is your tongue. Particularly if you're lying down at, at night and lying on your back and you have problems snoring then, rather than when you're lying on your side, well, it suggests that you have a tongue-based problem because you're lying on your back, your tongue falls back and blocks off your breathing. So that suggests that you have a tongue-based problem, suggests that this will work, uh, it's more likely to work in you. And also, if you've tried a mandibular advancement device or a tongue retaining device or an INAP device, all of these I've got videos of in my channel. If you look at those videos and try them out, if you find that they work for you, particularly a tongue retaining device, which is only three or four pounds, if you find that works for you, that's great. But the advantage of the Zeus over all of those is that it isn't implanted, it isn't in your mouth and causing a gag reflex, it sits outside. So if you have problems with something in your mouth, this might be good for you because it doesn't go inside your mouth. So for complete transparency, I went out and bought this myself. They have not sponsored this video and they haven't given me this device, but they have given me a discount code. So if you use VicVir25, I'll write it up here somewhere, uh, when you go to buy this device, you'll get 25% off. Now, this is an affiliate link. I don't get anything from that. This is 25% for you. I don't make any money from that. Again, trying to be transparent here. And they have, however, given me a spare one of these that I can give away to one of my subscribers. So if you want to get a free one of these, sign up to my newsletter, which will be in the video description below. And when I release that uh, video, uh, sorry, that newsletter, which will tell you how to get one of these devices, email me back and I'll enter you into the draw and the lucky person, I'll send it out to them for free. Some of you know who are already on my newsletter. Once I get to a thousand people on my newsletter, I'm going to give away an Excite OSA. But until that point, thank you very much for watching this video. It's very kind of you to watch till the end. Take care. Bye-bye.